Hey guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. It hasn't been that long since I recorded my last video. As soon as I opened up the uh, Playcaster box, I put them together, I started painting him. I haven't really stopped since. I finished him now, he looks so cool and I'm going to, I cannot wait to show you. Now, uh, before we jump into that, I also put a poll on the, my community page asking you guys, you know, who I should paint next from this Heroes box. There were a few options on there and the highest voted option by quite a bit actually was to roll for it. So I have a D8 here. I also have a um, little thing to hold up my, my phone. So I'll record this while I roll it just so you guys know that I'm not cheating. I have no idea what order any of these in. I know that there are two Gurgs in here, so we've got quite a high chance or a higher chance of painting a Gurg. I think the way we'll do it is we'll start from this side and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we roll an eight, then uh, we'll just go again until we roll something between one and seven. So let's um, let me set this up. We'll jump into it and uh, we'll see what I'm painting next. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm holding the frame thing because my phone's too heavy and like falls over if I don't hold it. I've got my D8 here. Let me push record on this and let's see what we get. And it looks like we got number five. So I'm gonna stop that. This is what it looks like, by the way. <laughs> this is why it was like falling over. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. I really hope this is a plague spewer or the champion. I think those two are the ones that I would really like this to be the champion so that I can run two units of plague marines, which is I think two units of five, sorry, uh, instead of just going one unit of 10. I think that would be a good way to do it because then I get, although it's the same point cost as having 10, I essentially get two champions instead of one. I can tell straight away who this is just by looking at the little thing, <laughs> yeah, the model stuff. It is Clotticus, the icon bearer, which is also a really cool model. I haven't painted any Nurglings yet, so this will be something new for me. Looks like Clotticus is going to be the next one on the list. You can go into the special pile. But before I start on Clodicus, I am so close to finishing my Rhino. So I think in the next video, I should be able to showcase that to you guys. Today, in the meantime, we're gonna jump into uh, the Playcaster. After that, we'll take a look at his data sheet to see what he can actually do. And yeah, so let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, here he is. My leader, my HQ pick, my Maligent Playcaster. I hope I said that right. As I mentioned um, earlier, I did some minor kit bashing. I put that big fly that was meant to be on the uh, bottom of, uh, of the base and I put it on the shoulder there, uh, only because I wanted to make sure that the base of this model kind of stayed in theme with the rest of my, uh, my squad and army. And I wanted to put that massive piece of ice there along with um, some snow. Uh, I still had a few little bits of those uh, ice bits that I've made um, from a couple of weeks ago. So this was one of the bigger pieces that I was kind of struggling to put on a base just because it's quite big. And all of the models that I painted so far are on the, the smallest bases. I'm not actually sure how big they are, but yeah. Anyways, that's enough about that. Now, what I really enjoyed painting the most on this guy was probably his magic flame, uh, gassy, whatever that stuff is. There are probably, I don't know, maybe five different shades of purple on there, uh, purple and pink. It was just a whole lot of fun to paint. I did actually go back, go to the hobby store and um, pick up a, a varnish as well. Uh, a few people recommended that for uh, some of the, the other uh, miniatures that I painted and so I put a bit of varnish on this because I, I really wanted this to, to stand out and uh, be shiny and really jump out at you. Uh, you can see I've um, left the flies pretty basic and uh, I think they're maggots I guess um, those little things just really neutral colors because I didn't want them to have to like kind of compete with that the big highlight of this model which was uh, which is the um, his magic thing that he's got going on but yeah, I think he looks amazing. I love it so much. Um, I'm talking about the miniature, not my paint job, by the way. 
you know, I, I, I hate zooming in um, so closely to some of these because I can just see so many little mistakes and like I'm definitely not a perfectionist and I mean if I was it would just take me so long to paint these guys but yeah um, let me know what you guys think I, I had a lot of fun painting this one uh, but anyway let's um let's jump into his data card and uh, see exactly what he can do all right let's take a look at the uh, data sheet for um the Maligent Playcaster I did not actually know that he, that's what he was called I can see um, I'm blocking I'll turn myself off really quickly so we're looking at movement 5 toughness 5 uh, save 3 plus wound 4 leadership 6 plus and 1 OC so that is actually quite similar to the Plague Marines I think the only difference is the wounds they only have two wounds each um, I think that's the only difference I'd have to go back and take a look now in terms of weapons uh, so we've got the Plague Bolt Pistol thank you to everyone who mentioned in the last video uh, explaining what pistols do but when I'm looking at this, I can actually see that it doesn't have the pistol keyword, but it's in the name, so I'm guessing that's okay. I can't remember if that had to be like next to lethal hits. It's fine. Okay, Plague Bolt Pistol uh, looks to be exactly the same as, uh, as what the Plague Marines have. Now, underneath that, this is where things get interesting. So we've got Plague Wind. Witch Fire and we've got Plague Wind Focused Witch Fire. Range 12, D6 attacks or D6 plus 3 attacks. No BS, so they automatically hit. Strength 4 or Strength 6, AP minus 1 or minus 2, and D3 wounds. Damage, sorry. Now I did read that Hazardous means uh, after I've done a, a Hazardous attack, Psychic, or I believe on Plasma Guns it's the same. I roll a d6 and if I roll a 1 then I take 3 damage. Now because I've got 4 wounds I think... I kind of think it's worth it, you know? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I mean d6 plus 3, so you could potentially have 9, nine attacks that auto hit at strength 6, minus 2 AP, for d3 damage. Uh, what's 9 times 3? 27... Wow, so the Plague Caster can potentially do 27 damage in one attack. That is absolutely insane. This Plague Caster could wipe out my entire unit of Plague Marines in one shooting phase. That's really cool. I'm so glad I got him. Okay, um, melee weapons, Corrupted Staff, uh, which also has lethal hits, and Psychic. Uh, attacks for um, 3 plus weapon skill, 6 strength, AP minus 1, and D3. Uh, to wound on that too that's also awesome so potential to do 12 damage on that one question i have can i cast plague wind if i am in combat it says down the bottom before selecting targets for this weapon select one of its profiles to make attacks with yeah so you choose one or the other the only reason i kind of ask this is because underneath um corrupted stuff i can see that that is also psychic uh so i'm kind of I feel like it's kind of suggesting that if you're in melee you have to use the corrupted stuff and you can't use plague wind let me know if i'm wrong there it would be so cool if um i could use plague wind while i'm in combat but the way i'm thinking of running my 500 point army is i'm thinking of having two separate units of plague marines one which is melee focused and one which is kind of like um short to mid range focus with all the special weapons and I'm thinking this plague caster would probably sit with the shooting guys uh, and wouldn't be in close combat anyway. Let's check out his ability. So he has gift of contagion. In your shooting phase you can select one enemy unit within 18 inches of and visible to the psyker and roll 1d6. Okay so I choose someone within 18 I roll a d6. This psyker's uh, on a one this psyker's unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. Ouch. On a 2+, plus, until the start of your next shooting phase, each time a model in that enemy unit makes a melee attack, subtract 1 from the wound roll when they are rolling to wound. That's I guess that's just a, a free psychic move that he has. And then we've got Pestilent Fallout in your shooting phase. So this is another one in your shooting phase. After this model has shot, 
If one or more of those attacks made with its plague wind scored a wound against an enemy infantry unit, until the start of your next turn, subtract two from that unit's move characteristic and subtract two from advance and charge rolls made for that unit. So a bit of utility in there as well. Um, the plague wind only has a range of 12 inches. So I'm, <laughs> they're gonna be quite close to you. Even his bolt pistol is only 12 inches. So I'm not sure how much of a difference two inches would make if they're already that close to you. Uh, I'm sure it definitely has its uses, but um, cool. That'll it will just be like two things I need to uh, always keep in mind in the shooting phase. Okay, so play caster, shooting phase, absolutely kills. And then leader, this model can be attached to the following units, plague wings. All right, so I just need to find out if I can use plague wind when I'm in combat, because that will dictate how I utilize him on the on the battlefield, on the tabletop, sorry. In terms of his overall stat line, he does seem a little bit squishy. I mean, he's pretty much just a plague marine uh, with a couple more wounds. So I imagine he will die pretty quickly to some of these other lords and um, elite units out in the in the rest of the 40k universe but yeah i'm very excited to to use him i mean the the potential damage output is so high i think the highest wound count that i have on a unit is i think the mephitic blight hauler has 10 wounds i might be wrong i think the rhino has about the same i mean geez this guy could kill two of them in one hit that's crazy <laughs> Okay, so glad I've got him. Um, hey, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Not too much further to go until uh, we can hopefully jump in and start playing some games. I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like at first, probably because like I would love to record them and take photos and all of that sort of thing. But I feel like for my first few games, I'm probably gonna be so focused on just learning the game that uh, I, it might just have to be more of a I'll take notes and come back and tell stories. So enjoy the rest of your day. I hope to see you guys again sometime soon and uh, we'll see you around.